As the world marks International Workers' Day, the United Labour Congress has called on the federal government to improve on the welfare of workers in Nigeria. Our correspondent, Nimi Adekombi, who was at the briefing, has the rest of the story. For workers across the globe, May 1 is usually a special day to applaud their contributions towards nation building. In Nigeria, this year's celebration is dedicated to heroes in the front line against COVID-19, men and women who have braved the odds, working tirelessly to save lives and curb the spread of the virus. Over and over, workers have shown resilience from nation to nation, continent to continent, day to day and hour to hour. Workers have shown that it is only on their shoulders can our world survive and remain sustainable. Our celebration this year, therefore, is of the worker, the heroes of the front line against COVID-19, the ones who have worked tirelessly and wantonly deprived to, to keep the nations of the world going in the midst of the global lockdown. While celebrating the May Day, the United Labour Congress brings to the front burner the need to improve the welfare of Nigerian workers. More importantly, now that the federal government plans to relax the lockdown order from May 4. So the workers should be more careful themselves. They should uh, organize themselves into teams to make sure that the guidelines, the rules are complied with, especially as it affects physical distancing and then sanitization. If you come to this office now, there is the, this thing to test here. Uh, there is where you wash water, there's, sorry, wash hands, sanitizer. Such things must be, pre must be ready in the offices or else the workers have the right not to work if such measures are not put in place. We also feel it's even devilish you know, for any employer at this point in time to, re you know, to relieve every worker of, of his job you know, because of this COVID-19. Because these are the corporate body that still donate items, cash and food, you know, they say for the poor and the vulnerable. So if you have some workers under your employment and you are sacking him, are you, are you asking him to go and join the poor out there whom you are donating items to, you know, you know, to also survive? So you know, I, I think it's appropriate to, that they take this situation as part of their own you know, corporate social responsibility. The labor movement also pays tribute to workers who lost their lives in the battle against the pandemic. Workers have been the light, the beacon of hope, that have kept the nations going. We pay tribute to these men and women, comrades, not just in the trenches, but at the battle for the survival of the human race against the ravages of global infections. <clears throat> that is why the USC proposes an international day for the remembrance of great matters of COVID-19 struggle. As workers brace up for the easing of the lockdown, their expectations more attention will be devoted to the welfare of Nigerian workers. For Plus TV Africa, Nimi Adekombi. Thank you, Nimi, for that report. We're now joined to talk more on Labor Day by Tukumbo Korodo, Chairman, United Labor Congress, Lagos State. Thank you for joining us. No, good evening, sir. The Workers' Day was marked on low-key without the usual glamour and the fanfare because of the COVID-19 um, celebration. How does the union feel about this? Well, there's nothing we can do. It is, it happened in, in, in a very strange way. And we also need to respect the law of the land and the people in the authority and not for them alone, and also for the safety of ourselves and our household as a whole. On a day like this, it is really critical to talk about the welfare of the Nigerian workers. What is your assessment, especially during this period of COVID-19? Well, it is very, very painful experience because we don't expect it. It caught us unaware but at the same time, we have to live by it and adjust and pray to uh, overpass this situation. The Nigerian workers is not feeling comfortable the way this thing is happening because the welfare of Nigerian workers, despite that what we are facing before the pandemic, it is still 
no rosy for us not to talk of when we have this COVID-19. But we still believe it's a challenge that we need to rise up and also face the future challenges, especially the post-COVID-19. As plans are underway for businesses to resume next week, some companies might need to disengage workers to stay in business due to losses recorded during this lockdown. Are you concerned uh, some workers might lose their jobs? And do you see this in huge numbers or just a few? Well, to me, it is a very strong challenge for us, but we are well prepared for any eventuality. But we thank God we have CBA. That is conditional agreement, agreement that bind both the employees and employers together. Nobody can just wake up one day and say we want to lay off a unionized worker. Who would assist it? There's no way. It's not done anywhere. So no matter the situation, there's a provision. We must sit down, analyze things, and get the reason why a certain decision needs to be taken. Unless the workers are not unionized. It is only a unionized worker you can lay off anyhow. But when somebody is unionized, you, you, you know must be involved before you disengage such person. If it's going to be on redundancy clause, let us know the reason why. We must be convinced before we allow such action to be taken. And in total us, if you follow the CBA, it will be too expensive for them to lay any workers off. Okay, Let, let's look at the... Um more developments from the COVID-19 pandemic, it seems to have shifted attention from the issues of the minimum wage. What is the state of things as regards the demand for payment of the minimum wage? Well, the minimum wage, you know, it all, most of the athletes in U United Labour Congress, they are predominantly private sector. And in the private sector, we don't have issue on minimum wage because we don't wait for a certain period like the public sector before we negotiate. Our own is periodical uh, negotiation because there's no time. On every CBA, it has expiration period. If it is two years or three years, immediately the CBA is about to be expired. We will give notice to the employer. Then we'll go in and start negotiating. After the negotiation, we sign the CBA into social contracts between employee and employer. I guess we need to keep hope alive when it comes to the welfare of workers, especially in these trying times. Thank you very much for your thoughts. No,